there's nothing more permanent than a temporary tax cut. How that one insight informs 2023 year-end tax planning. This is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So it's autumn and it's year-end and folks are thinking about year-end tax planning. One of the big topics of conversation is taxable Roth conversions. Folks like to take advantage of lower income years to move money affirmatively from, say, traditional IRAs, traditional 401ks into Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, fully taxable. And the idea is, look, we're going to pay tax when we think we're at a lower marginal rate, relatively speaking, vis-a-vis the rest of our life, right? Um, And now there's some pressure out there. The commentator saying, you better do more Roth conversions because guess what? In 2026, taxes are going up. So you better get those Roth conversions done before 2026. And it is true that as written, if we look at the Internal Revenue Code, right, uh, the standard deduction will go down in the year 2026, The 12% tax rate, nope, that goes away. It'll be a 15% tax rate in the year 2026. So that's part of the reason a lot of commentators are saying, hey, get those Roth conversions in. But I think we have to come back to a fundamental principle. There's nothing more permanent than a temporary tax cut. Remember why it's temporary in the first place. It's not temporary because it's politically unpopular or because it's a bad idea. It's temporary because of the machinations of how Congress scores these tax bills whenever they enact a tax cut. They say, well, we're only going to cut taxes for a handful of years so that it looks better from a scoring perspective. But that scoring has nothing to do with how popular the tax cut is and whether or not it's a good idea. And we have to think about these tax cuts, right? A lot of these tax cuts very much helped, one, retirees. And two, those who might be more middle class, um, low to middle class, where, you know, they're doing okay economically, but they're certainly not, you know, cooking with gas. They're not the high rollers of the American economy, right? And if Congress just sits back in 2025 and just lets these tax cuts expire, and retirees and many workers are now paying significantly more in federal income tax that's a recipe for some congressmen to lose their jobs, right? Re-election is the primary motivator for many in Congress. And so I think, look, there's no 100% guarantee. There's no ironclad guarantee here. But I would be stunned if in the year 2025, Congress does not extend the additional standard deduction, the higher standard deduction, the 12% tax bracket, and a lot of the other tax cuts that were enacted temporarily at the end of the year 2017 in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And I think we have to take that notion that, you know, temp- there's nothing more permanent than a temporary tax cut and then apply it to the year 2023 when we're thinking about our year-end Roth conversions, right? Year-end Roth conversions make a whole lot of sense for many taxpayers, particularly uh, early retirees, but potentially even mid to late retirees. But they make sense based on your own personal circumstances. You and your advisors need to do the analysis, right? I can't tell you whether or not to do Roth conversions in one YouTube video. But what I can tell you is this. As I look at the landscape and I look at the political risk to members of Congress, if they don't extend things like the larger standard deduction and the 12% tax bracket, I feel very comfortable that what's going to happen is in the year 2025, Congress will extend those tax cuts. That extension itself might be temporary, but I don't care about that because then they'll just do another extension. So when we think about our year-end tax planning or Roth conversions at year-end, they absolutely can make some sense, but they should not be done based on, oh no, taxes are definitely going up in 2026. They are most certainly not definitely going up. And if one thinks about the political motivations of those in Congress, I think you come out saying, yeah, these things are probably going to get extended because there's nothing more permanent than a temporary tax cut. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.